here's one boat on this one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's um, Gling. Mm. Yeah, there's houses underneath. Pub. Pub. We're pointing to the, the pub that's down there called the Tomokin Inn. <laughs> that was in the that was the Scottish end. Sorry, the Ukrainian end. Uh, my name is Bohdan. I'm Claire McDonald. My name is Ross McDonald. This was a very strange way it all came about. Um, I got a phone call um, one morning when my husband Ross was going to pick up. Um, a Ukrainian family from Edinburgh Airport. He was just going to do them a favour and take them to a hotel that they had booked. And then suddenly I got a rather desperate phone call from my husband saying um, the hotel bookings completely mucked up and these guys have nowhere to go. Can I bring them to Dola? And I said, of course. So I was there waiting for Bowden. One thing that I thought was incredibly impressive was the Scottish government actually had people there for for people who came through who weren't part of the homes through Ukraine, they seem to be running like a super sponsorship scheme. We were happy to find, uh, to found the Ross. Uh, we uh, have came here. Uh, first of all, you see, it looks like you need to, you need to entering. Uh, you need to, to sit, to, to breathe. So I think once we began to relax, we went to the pub, we started to have a laugh, you know, we probably talked a bit about the war initially because you know you're maybe trying to find out but you don't maybe quite appreciate how traumatized people are so we started just to talk about inanities and fun and laughs and of course football came up yeah. so turned out that Bodan had a couple of tickets to the uh, Scotland Ukraine match at Hamden on the Wednesday after the Sunday they arrived I was going to drive so I thought I'm going. So we had, it was just fantastic to then see the other Ukrainians, hear all the songs. Bowden and his son stayed for approximately three months. In Hira, uh, I found the best condition for further studying of my children. And second, I have uh, diabetes, so I am insulin depending. After uh, starting of war in Ukraine, maybe one month later, uh, it was a uh, big problem with insulin in Ukraine because uh, a lot of warehouse was uh, destroyed. Every access uh, for medical service here is, in is incredible easy. You know, it's been brilliant and, you know, they were really, really quick with getting yeah, insulin yeah. supplies. They, you know, they immediately, you know, spoke yeah. to you directly. There was phone interviews. My son uh, have uh, finished uh, school at this year in Ukraine, and uh, uh, war uh, has destroyed all his plans. I'm so happy for this help, which we have received from uh, Dollar Academy, from Mrs. Barbary, from Mrs. Young other people who support us. I uh, was in Scotland maybe 15 years ago. It, uh, uh, it was uh, a football uh, match between the Ukrainian national team and Scotland national team. Ukraine uh, lose this game, but, uh, but uh, this expression of uh, Scotland uh, it uh, it is staying with me for for, for long periods. So, uh, did the whiskey take that long to recover from? Uh, you see, not whiskey. <laughs> uh, Scot Scottish ales, uh, ah, yeah. Scottish ales, haggis, and uh, and uh, Scottish people. Uh, so kind, a lot of friendly feelings. Uh, I was impressed. I would not, I would, you know, never change um, what's happened. I think it's been a fantastic life experience. I hope to come back to my, uh, my land. Uh, and I hope, uh, I hope uh, peace will, will come to the whole Europe, to the whole continent uh, and we will, uh, <laughs> we will come back to this peaceful uh, and uh, stable life.